A crucial independent U.S. trade panel has overturned a decision by the Trump administration that would have hit a Canadian plane maker with 300% tariffs. The plane you're looking at is the Bombardier C-Series. Swiss was the launch customer. Now, Boeing claimed that Bombardier unfairly benefited from government bailout subsidies. Boeing, in reaction, says we are disappointed that the International Trade Commission, the ITC, did not recognize the harm that Boeing has suffered from the billions of dollars in illegal government subsidies. Straight to Paula Newton, who is in Ottawa, these 300% tariffs that the administration had imposed on C-series sales, particularly on Delta Airlines contract, which has bought dozens of them, threatened to derail, pardon the pun, the airline or the aircraft. It did, and that is why uh, Bombardier turned to Airbus. You'll remember that deal well. They thought that Airbus could save them by perhaps uh, really having a second assembly line in Alabama, which would mean 300% duties wouldn't be levied because those planes would be made in the United States. Turns out they may not need that at all. I mean, this is really... Uh, been a surprise ruling it met with, I would say, shock and awe here in Canada. Remember, Richard, this trade tribunal is a U.S. trade tribunal. It might be called an international trade commission, but this was a four to zero decision by Republicans and Democrats. It is an independent uh, bipartisan panel that said, look, Boeing, you're not going to be harmed by this. And that means Delta uh, can start taking those planes uh, as they had expected in the spring can start to take delivery immediately. But what it does is really put Trump's a trade agenda uh, really at odds with what right. his, in, his own trade body says is not proven. Having said that, just before I, I let you, I go back to you, Richard, remember, NAFTA talks going on not too far from here in Montreal, and this will certainly put a different mood in the room, shall we say, with this shocking ruling now from the United States. There's no question there are huge ramifications for the Trump trade policy because they put so much store by this. But Bombardier's decision to sell the C-Series, or at least the majority stake in the C-Series, to Airbus, I assume this decision doesn't change that because the C-Series was having, I mean, I won't say difficulties, but Airbus is still needed to help sell the plane. Yeah, and the crucial thing here, Richard, was not that the C-Series was having problems, Bombardier was having problems. Clearly, they were having problems with money. And now that Airbus is on board, uh, it means that they will have that entire sales structure behind them. And perhaps maybe even that second assembly line that was promised in, promised in Alabama, no matter what this ruling says. The thing, though, here is, bottom line, the game on, as always, for Boeing and Airbus. And for those two plane makers around the world in terms of having that, as you know all too well, Richard, um, that really cutthroat competition that will continue around the world. Having said that, if I was a Canadian negotiator during NAFTA talks right now, I would not gloat too much. They should not rise to that temptation. There are tough talks ahead, and they do <laughs> not want this decision to really cloud that.